Morning Britain. It's the interview which has got the world talking. This just in, the rare interview with President Trump. Tonight, a reunion between the former winner of The Celebrity Apprentice and his old boss. Well, in a wide-ranging interview, President Trump told me he'd handle Brexit differently, apologized for his Britain first racist retweet, and confirmed he plans to vi visit Britain this year not once, but twice. I can tell you I have a very good relationship with your Prime Minister. I support a lot of what she does and a lot of what she says. The European Union is not cracked up to what it's supposed to be. And I would have taken a tougher stand in getting out. I am the least racist person that anybody's going to meet. I wouldn't say I'm a feminist. I mean, if I think that would be maybe going too far. The President also taught climate change, gun control, trophy hunting and tweeting. Are you actually lying in bed with your phone? working out how to wind everybody up? Well, perhaps sometimes in bed, and for perhaps sometimes at breakfast or lunch or whatever, but... Don't we all do that in bed? I think we do. I will have full analysis and reaction throughout the morning to the interview. It's got everyone either seething, cheering, raging, whatever it is. Let us know your views on Trump Morgan. Monday, 29th of January, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Sorry, just having a little... <laughs> reflection. A little, little reflection, yeah. Well, it's a bit, quite a big deal, isn't it? And then afterwards, it's all like, ah. Because what you don't want, when you interview Trump on a Thursday and it doesn't air till, till a Sunday, Sunday night, three days in Trump world, anything could happen. It could start a nuclear war. In which case, my interview scoop goes... Could Boom. pale into insignificance. Yeah, so... Um, That's not the only reason we were grateful there was no nuclear war over the weekend. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what was probably even more shocking than nuclear war. Susanna's interview... Uh, read my lips. Oh, that's cool. Though. Fabulous magazine. And this, looking fabulous. As well. well, it has oh, a couple of bombshells. Uh, one of them says, "Piers is." Uh, she said, "Here, um, Piers has unleashed the real me." Says Susanna, and then she says, "I like to maintain my political neutrality, but on other matters, for instance, feminism, I've now unleashed my opinions." Piers has unleashed me, and then inside. Can you say unleashed, unleashed. more? Please? <laughs> unleashed. And then what about this bombshell? She's asked about her love life, and Susanna says, I haven't been completely a foreigner to love over the past couple of years, which is the period that we've been working together. She concedes when pressed about romance. Wow. Pressed. That's the thing. You I see, haven't been... So that when suggest, you're pressed that on the issue, you have to give an answer, don't, well, you, don't you? You don't have to, but you put it out there that you've, you've not been completely a foreigner to love. I thought it was handled very well, delicately. suggests that in the two-year period Charlotte. that we worked together, you've been feeling a frisson of love. For? For somebody. Others. Well, mm. whoever. Or we don't know another. who, do we? And until another name comes to the party... You're just going to assume it's you. Of course. Why would you do that? Uh, Self-confidence. It's a great <laughs> thing. Ask Delusion. <laughs> I tell you what, when Donald, when Donald Trump and I were together, I looked at him and I thought, it's the only bloke I know more confident than me <laughs> is Donald Trump. Uh, anyway, uh, but anyway, uh, not a foreigner to love. Our main news this morning, more from your world exclusive, his first international television interview since becoming president. And Donald Trump has told Good Morning Britain that the UK should take a tougher stand in the Brexit negotiations. Well, he told me the EU was, in his words, unfair and warned that the US was gearing up for his own potential trade war with Europe. The American president also revealed he'll come to Britain this year not once, but twice, a working visit and the full controversial state visit that Theresa May promised him last year. This despite uh, uh, threats and promises of the largest protest rally in British history. Because he must be stopped, mustn't he? at all costs, so we can abandon the trade deal, abandon American military defences. That's a great idea for Britain. I'm sorry. Just... Or exercise people's democratic right to protest. No problem with waving your blackguards, but please, please think about what we're doing here, Britain, because these are big things. Trade and defence are big. Every politician has to weather opposition. I just we're not in I a one-view society. Right, I just don't get my head round. We give state visits to Putin, Mugabe, and there are protests Bashar against all of them. Right? Well, there's Why? nothing like this. Now we're planning the biggest. I don't know what it's like now we're yet. It hasn't happened one. yet. I hope. I hope Britain people come out. He says he doesn't care anyway. He 